On Tuesday, 50 years after his death, the University of the West Indies at Cave Hill honored Barbadian Sir Frank Worrell again. It coincided with the 20th anniversary of a hall of residence being named in his honor. Now, a road on the campus has been named after him and a new plaque was placed on the hall. Deputy Principal of the Cave Hill Campus, Professor Clive Landis, spoke about the challenge Sir Frank took on as the first black captain of the West Indies cricket team. However, Sir Frank grasped the opportunity with both hands and helped create one of the greatest cricketing legacies in cricket history. You can clap to that. <laughs> he didn't dwell on the impossibles. Instead, he focused on the possibilities striving beyond societal expectations. Indeed, Sir Frank led the West Indies cricket team against Australia in the 1960-61 Test Series to the first ever tied test in cricket history. Now, that's an important lesson. When we are afforded opportunities, no matter how great or small, we must strive to take full advantage. There will be detractors. There will be people who will be opposed to us but it is important to strive and be the best and to aim for greatness. Hall chairperson and newly elected Gill president Kai Bridgewater also recounted some of Sir Frank's achievements after cricket. After leaving the cricket field, after putting up his back, he served as the warden of the, um, of the Irving Hall on the Mona campus. He also was appointed to the Senate by Sir Alexander Bustamante. Can you imagine that? A Barbadian in the Jamaican Senate. <laughs> All of this while continuing to advocate for regionalism and deeper regional ties. It seems only fitting that one of the hubs of regional integration on the Cable Campus, the Halls of Residence, is named after Mr. Officer Warrell. He really wanted to bring people together and that's exactly what this space does. Established in 1996, the hall named in its honor has continued to foster regional integration while supporting excellence both on and off the field and in the classroom.